Hey, Mount Tabor Baptist Church. I uh, wanted to create this instructional video for how you and your family can get started with online giving. We are rolling this out now in 2024. And so I wanted to give you a kind of a step-by-step -step guide of what it looks like on your phone uh, and online uh, for you to give online uh, and help with that process. And so first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look to our phone. Um, on each phone in phone carrier, whether you're Android or iPhone, you have an app store. Uh, on that app store, you're going to go in, you're going to type in church center, uh, and then you'll see this app. It looks like a church building with some greens and blues in it, like you see here on my phone. Um, and you're going to download that. You're going to download it to your phone, let it process through, and you're going to hit open. So when you open this app, the Church Center app, uh, it's going to ask for a few things. It may say something about a church link. You just hit yes, uh, let's get going. Um, and then it's going to ask you to use your location. Um, I'm going to recommend that you say yes for right now. When you hit that on iPhones, you have an option to say allow once. Um, the option to uh, allow only while using the app or not allow at all. I'm going to hit allow once uh, right now just to use my location because it's important because your phone looks around the area and then it pulls up all the churches in your area that have this software. And up here in the top left corner on my phone, it has Mount Tabor Baptist Church. Uh, with the mountain logo. Now the church may be somewhere else on your screen. Just scroll through and try to find this Mount Tabor Baptist Church with the mountain logo. You're going to click on that. It's going to ask you, hey, is this your church? And you're going to say, yep, that's my church. That's my congregation, my body where I go and worship on Sundays. Um, you're going to hit that. And then it's going to ask you for your phone number. Um, I'm going to type in my number right now. Um, it is no secret what my phone number is. It's on the back of the bulletin and easily accessible, um, which is a good thing because if you have any questions throughout this process or uh, later on, uh, be sure to message or call me. So after you type in your phone number, uh, it's going to ask for a verification code just to make sure you are who you say you are. Uh, you're going to type that in. Um, and then once you look at that, it knows that my name is Daniel and you, or me, right now, logged into the system. Uh, how it knows that is because our staff has meticulously been preparing and transferring y'all's information, our church's information, over to this new system. And so it has your contact info, so it knows you by your number. Now, if it doesn't recognize you or doesn't have your number, that's when you would contact me. We can get you in the system and get you set up that you can do the online giving. And so when you're set up and you say, hey, let's get going, you're going to come to this home page right here. Now, this home page right now is what I call a work in progress. Uh, I am trying to uh, get input from uh, the other staff and uh, leaders of the church to see what's the most important things we can put on here. Uh, right now we have our website, we have past sermons and services, um, some things about our children or a kids program here. But for the time being, all we need to focus on for the online giving is down here in the bottom middle section, there is an icon that looks like a dollar bill with a heart in it. You're going to click on that and it's going to come up with uh, kind of what looks like a calculator but you there can type in the amount you would like to give uh, so i'm just going to put in ten dollars make it easy an even number that we could use right now hit give um, and from here you have some options for your giving um, don't worry about the tithes and offerings right now that's something for our umbrella as you give into our give to Mount Tabor Baptist Church. But frequency is something that you and your family have to decide. How often you will give, how often will this gift reoccur? Uh, that's up to y'all. I know everyone is different of the time frame and consistency of giving, uh, but just pray about it and discuss what would be best for you. Right now, I'm just showing an example. So we're just gonna hit one time gift. Um, and then here you have the option to either use a credit card or your bank, uh, connected to your bank, to give. 
Now, I recommend um, to use your bank account with credit cards now in our time, there's processing fees that come with that. Uh, it is a percentage out of what you gift plus 30 cents. Um, with the bank, just a withdrawal, it is only 30 cents per process. Um, and I want to take a moment and say, if you do connect your bank and you're a little weary right now, I want to give you reassurance. Uh, we use a company called Stripe. Uh, they are used by large corporations all the way down to here at uh, Mount Tabor Baptist Church. Uh, Stripe keeps our transactions secure and safe. Um, and so you, if you are worried about that, we have already uh, taken the step to secure uh, financial security for you uh, as you give online. So I'm going to hit uh, give by bank account. Um, I've already connected my bank to online giving. And here you have the option, talking about those processing fees, since it's 30 cents per transaction, uh, I am going to cover that fee myself. Now this is totally your option, uh, your choice. I'm going to cover it now. If you do not hit this button, then us, the church, Mount Taper, will cover it. Uh, but you decide, but I'm going to go ahead and click, hey, I'm going to cover the fee. So I'm going to give $10.30. We'll hit OK. Going to hit yes, I'm sure I'm going to do this. And then bada bing, bada boom, it gives you a confirmation of your transaction. And if you see here with my email popping up, it emails you your transaction, also it gives you a receipt of your transaction, what you give, and it'll message you later when your transaction is processed. And it's that simple. Uh, once you download the app, it's pretty straightforward. But like I said, if you need any help uh, with setting up online giving for you and your family, uh, please contact me. We'll set up a time. We'll go through it and get you set up. Um, thank you, Mount Tabor Baptist Church, for being a giving church.